Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIVS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Dear students, today I am here to conduct a math class of class 2. Our today's topic is Ascending Order Part 1. Dear students, to solve this item or to arrange the number in ascending order, at first we have to know what is ascending order. Ascending order means smaller to larger. We have to arrange the number smaller to larger. It means that if I write some number here 10, 20, 4, 16, 30, 17, this number suppose you have to write in ascending order. Ascending order means you have to write this number smaller to larger. The students if you observe the number here, this is a single digit number. So, this will be the smallest among this number. So, 4 at first we have to write. Then after 4, here is 10, 20, 16, 30, 17. Here 10 is the smaller. So, now left 16, 17, 20, 30. So, you can write 16 here. Then after 16, you can write 17 then 20 and then 30. Here this order means smaller to larger. I have arranged this number smaller to larger. The technique of arranging some numbers smaller to larger, I will show when I will solve the problem. Okay, it means that ascending order means we have to arrange the number following a order. The order is smaller to larger. It means that at first we have to write the smallest one, then we have to write the greater than the first one. In this way we have to arrange these numbers. Okay, dear students. Let us solve. I have written some numbers here. I have written two questions. In the first question, there are five numbers. I, at first, I will arrange these five numbers in ascending order. So, you can write here, arranging the arranging the given numbers. in ascending order. We get, what will we get? At first, we have to indicate each position of digit in its number. This is ones place, this is tens place, this is hundreds place and this is thousands place, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ones, tens, hundred, ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Dear students, if you observe this number here, except 500, except 500, these four numbers contains the position 1000, but this five, this number, fourth number contains only 100, there is no 1000. So, this number is the smallest one as this number does not contain 1000 position. So, this is the smallest one, so we can write at first. 500 and as there is no thousands position. Now, 
I have done first one. Now how can we get the second one? If you observe here, all the numbers except 500, all the numbers contains 1000 position. To find the smallest among these four number, to find the smallest number, we have to compare the thousands position here. Thousands position is 5, thousands position is 3, thousands position is 4, and thousands position is 6. Here, among the thousands position, which one is smallest? Here, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 3 is the smallest one. It means that 3456 will be the smallest among this four number. 3456. I have done this one. Now three numbers left. Among these three number, compare the thousands position at first. Here, four is the smallest. Thousands position is five, four, and six. Four is the smallest. So we can write the number 4,578. Now this one is also done. Two numbers left now. 5,000 and 6,430. Now to compare these two numbers, at first observe the thousands position. At first observe the thousands position. Here the thousands position is 5 and here thousands position is 6 as 5 is smaller than 6, so 5000 will be the smaller and the remaining number is the last number that will be 6430 and this will be the greatest among this number. So dear students, I hope you have understood our first question. Here if you observe at first you have to compare the highest position at first you have to compare the highest position to arrange the number then go to the next question arrange the following numbers in ascending order so we can write arranging the given numbers in ascending order. We get the students again I want to say ascending order means we have to arrange the numbers smaller to larger. To arrange the number at first we have to compare. To compare the numbers we have to indicate the position of the digits of the number. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand. 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 Ajuts. After thousands, the name of the position is Ajuts. Dear students, this is a new position. This is greater than thousand. Now, dear students, we will compare this number to arrange this number. If you observe this number, all the numbers contain thousands position. All the numbers contain thousands position. Here, thousands position of first number is 8, here thousands position is 7, thousands position is 1, thousands position is 4. As here is Ojud, no need to compare this number. That will be the largest one. So compare just only these four numbers. Here one is the smallest, one is the smallest. So, 1000 will be the smallest number. Among this number, 1000 will be the smallest number. Then, three numbers left which contain thousands position. Among these three numbers, 8, 7, 
and 4 is in thousands position. Here 4 is the smallest among 4, 7 and 8 thousand. So this number will be the next number. So this will be 4536. Now the next number we have to compare just these two. To compare these two, just compare the thousands position. Here thousands position is 7, here thousands position is 8. As 7 is less than 8, so we can write this one is the smaller among these two number, between these two number. So we can write here 7450. Now next number which contain thousands position that is 8001. Dear students, you have observed that I did not compare this number with this phone numbers as this number contains the position Ojuts and this phone numbers do not contain the position Ojuts. It means that these phone numbers are smaller than this one. This is the largest one. For this I did not compare 10,000 with this phone numbers. So this is the largest one. So we can write here 10,000. Dear students, I hope you have understood our today's topic. Keep practicing at home, abide by your parents, stay home, stay safe. See you again, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.